Hello everyone. It's a video of my solar panel setup and I got a lot of people asking me about it so I thought I'd make a video. I got two 180 watt, uh, the one on the left is 185, it's a Trina Solar. On the right is Missouri Wind and Solar panels and they're um, hooked up in parallel. And it's about 11 o'clock on January 30th. Take a look at those. I'm getting a little bit of sun right now. Sun's just coming up over those trees. So, hasn't quite kicked in yet. all my connections there. I haven't done any conduit or anything yet, but it's up and running. I got them grounded. Now let's go inside. I'll show you how it works. Alright, so here's the setup on the inside. I'm going to talk a little bit about it real quick. Um, four Trojan T105 deep cycle batteries. They're 225 amp hours a piece, and they're wired in series. So my system is 24 volt. I tried the 12 volt system; didn't work out for me. Um, that's just my opinion. Doesn't give you my, enough juice. So I would recommend if you have that extra money, get 24 volt. It is far superior in my opinion. Um, but the way it works is my cables come down here and come down the chimney. I didn't know this, but a chimney is actually hollow on the inside, so you can run wires down it. Um, anyways, it goes through here and it goes to this disconnect box. And let's see. There we go. I've got a positive negative lead from the solar panels up there. And those solar panels are hooked in parallel, so they're rated at about 37 volts. And if you have two or more panels, you want to get them rated close to each other within, I don't know, 5 or 10% if you're running them in parallel. So what I mean is you don't want you don't want a panel that's like 40 volts and then one that's 20 volts. That's um, not going to work. So uh, one of them is 37, I think the other one's like 37.5 or something. They're super close. Anyways, they're running parallel. And so they come in here. I've got about 75 feet of wire running, and that's 10 gauge. And I, I don't get that much of a voltage drop, actually, which is nice. I think it comes in about 34, 30, 35. I think it comes in about 35. And so if 37 is what its um, VMP is, and I'm getting in about 35, it's not too bad. And then those uh, wires go in up here to my midnight solar combiner box. Um, this is how it's wired. I would go into detail, but it would be a very long video. It's on the inside of the box. Anyways, if you get one, you'll figure it out. It's, it took some doing, took some reading, but it wasn't too complicated. And I've got uh, two breakers, and then I've got a main, and then a shunt. The shunt is what you need for the Bogart Trimetric, which is on the inside of my house. Uh, in my living room, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I've got everything grounded. That's my ground bar. I've got a ground here from the inverter. And uh, this is a different ground now from the uh, from the panels. This is a separate ground, a ground bar down here. Right there. Need to get some conduit for that, but I'll worry about that later. So anyways, then it goes up to the charge controller. Charge controller charges, uh, well, it does a lot of things. Um, it regulates the charge of the batteries, I guess, is the main thing it, it would do. Um, if you want to equalize them, um, puts in an absorption mode, float mode, does all kinds of things. But uh, yeah, this is my meter. You can see right now, can't get this thing into focus. But uh, I've got 153 watts coming in. And this panel's together 365 watts, so you got to remember this is January. It's about as good as you're going to get. Uh, let's see, it's about 11.30, so now I'll probably get about 250 watts later this afternoon. 
So six amps, bring in six amps right now. And uh, got a kilowatt meter here, which is nice. It tells me how much I'm using. It's upside down, but right now you can see I'm using, if you can see it, it's 64, 63, 65 watts going out to the house. I'm just running my computer and some lights. Now this thing's sweet. It's uh, just a three, an extension cord, three prong cord going up. And then I've got it at the end, it's wired into this AC breaker box. And I've got two running out, one to my living room, one to my master bed. And two breakers. That's what these uh, cords are for. And then those go down. One of them goes in there to my living room, and the other one goes up into my attic. And uh, I'll go inside and take a look at those. All right, so here is a little box I built for it, put in my living room, so I wouldn't have to cut a hole in the wall. But uh, yeah, I've got. Um, comes in through the wall, back of the wall, into this box, and the trimetric tells you, right now it's telling you how many amps are going into the batteries, and that includes uh, what you're pulling out. So I'm getting two amps. I'm getting uh, probably, I don't know, six amps or whatever the um, meter in the garage said, but I'm using four amps. So I've got 1.9 amps right now surplus going into the batteries. I hit this, it tells me um, I'm 87 percent charged, so um, 13 percent from being fully charged. I'm at 25 volts. It'll tell you, uh, if you hold it down for five seconds, it'll tell you more stuff. Okay, so this is um, amp hours, day since charge. I got them charged yesterday, so usually every day they charge. Equalized, 11.7 days since I equalized batteries. Uh, PR is watts. That's how many watts I'm bringing in right now. So I've got a surplus of 51. So outside, I don't know if I was at uh, maybe 100 watts or something like that. I can't remember. But I'm using 50 watts. So I've got a 51 extra watts are going into the batteries, which is nice. That changes. This thing is super accurate, too. You can tell. I mean, it switches every, uh, every, I don't know, every half a second or whenever the sun changes. So it gives you an immediate reading. It's just awesome. I, I could not live without this thing. Um, like I said, it's the first thing you should buy for buying a solar setup. Uh, and I skipped uh, skipped one thing. Let me go back. Okay, so amp hours. So I got minus 28.8 amp hours, and that's telling you from the battery being charged. So I need 28.8 more amp hours to fully charge my batteries. And which is really useful if you want to know, um, you know, how far your batteries are from being charged. I like this, just gives me a percentage and telling me, uh, whoops, that's the wrong thing, it's day since charge, sorry. I like, um, I like this part right here, 87. It's telling me I'm 87% charged. It's sort of the uh, idiot's guide instead of going through amp hours and watts and all that stuff. Well, I usually don't charge my batteries below about about here. 90% um, is what I try to keep them at, and then I charge them back. So that's about it, and I keep it on um, on this. Usually, it tells me it, it'll give you a minus if you're uh, spending more amps than bringing in. So right now I'm bringing in 2.2 amps extra, and then uh, so this is one outlet I've got, and then. In my living, I mean, in, in my bedroom, I got another one running there real quick. And I got a small house. I got a three bed, two bath ranch. So, for solar power, is really great. Turn this off. If you got a small house, it's not really practical if you've got a large house, in my opinion. It doesn't cost a lot of energy to begin with. And there's my. Um, other outlet I have. Alright, that's it.